Welcome to Resume Storyteller with Virginia Franco, bringing you interviews with industry experts and regular folks who tested the job search waters and succeeded, and strategies to tell your story and land your job interviews in 60 days, guaranteed. Here's your host, Virginia Franco. Hey guys, welcome to the Resume Storyteller Podcast. Uh, This is Virginia. Today I want to talk about three big reasons why you have got to stay on LinkedIn, regardless of if you have a job or not. Um, I sound like my mother, but if I had a penny for everyone who told me, if I update my profile on LinkedIn or I start becoming active, people are going to think I'm looking for a job um, or I don't want to get in trouble with my boss. Uh, you know, 10 years ago, I-, I would have agreed with that statement. Today, I cannot disagree with it more. Um, there are many reasons why it makes sense to stay on LinkedIn, even if you have a job. Um, and, and it's really a huge mistake to only use it during your job hunt. Um, first, let's talk about the concern that your boss is going to find out. Um, if you're happily employed and you're on LinkedIn, then this is a not even a deal at all. Um, you're on it. You're happy. They, you know, they're used to you. Um, but if you are in a public-facing role, if you work with vendors, if you work with contractors, if you have customers, um, if you are involved in the hiring process, it just makes good business sense for your company for you to have a profile. Because the more professional you look, the better they look. So whatever you can do to convey that in your workplace, I advise you. Um, But let's get back to the the main reasons why you really need to stay on LinkedIn, even when you're, you know, happily employed. Um, The saying, dig your well before you take a drink from it completely applies to your LinkedIn network. Um, unfortunately, it is just way too common. I hear all the time of people who have lost their jobs and then they frantically start to reach out to people um, that they either don't know or they haven't talked to in years. Um, and you know what? If you are in a crisis, that's what you have to do and you really don't have a choice. But if you do have a choice, um, It makes sense to build a strong network of quality connections and stay in touch with them. doesn't mean you need to talk to them every week, but, you know, comment on their posts. Shoot them a note here and there. Um, The social equity that you built will reap rewards when you need it the most. Um, You know, the truth is is that there's always going to be people that are willing to help and offer advice, um, whether you're in a pinch or not, but... I can assure you that those people are going to be much more likely to be amenable to helping you when you have introduced yourself month and years before and you have done a good job of keeping in touch. The second reason that it's really important to stay on LinkedIn to me is probably the most important one, and that's that recruiters are looking for the best candidate. Hiring managers, too. They are not looking for the best job seeker. Look, they are not paid to find unemployed people. They are not paid to find people that are actively hunting. They earn their commissions based on finding the best person for the role. So what are they going to do to find that? They're going to go to LinkedIn. They're going to search amongst competitor companies. They're going to look for people with the right experience and work to convince them that they should consider interviewing for the role. Uh, According to LinkedIn, 70% of the global workforce is comprised of passive talent, um, with just 30% being active job seekers. Um, So if 70% is passive talent, that's a bigger piece of the pool that's likely going to be sought after for jobs. Um, So the bottom line is that unless there is nothing that could entice you ever to consider an alternative role, if you stay away from LinkedIn or you ignore the quality of your profile, you just reduce the chances of you getting quote unquote found. Um, 
and you limit your options should the time come when you really need them. Um, the third reason why you should stay on LinkedIn is, uh, it seems sort of silly, but you know, a lot of people only update their resume when they start a job hunt. And once the job hunt is done, the resume gets saved to a drive only to be opened and dusted off the next time. Um, but for whatever reason, people tend to be a little bit better about at least putting some bare bone information about their role and what their role entails on LinkedIn, um, whether it's a highlight or an achievement or an award or what have you from time to time. Um, so it stands to reason from that, that when it comes to updating your resume, if you keep your LinkedIn profile current, it's going to serve as an excellent reference point when it comes time to refresh your resume. Um, so bottom line, keep your LinkedIn up to date and it'll make updating your resume much less painful. Um, lastly, and this sort of alludes back to what we talked about at the very beginning when um, we talked about how you didn't want your boss to know that you were looking or you were worried that you'd get on their radar as a job seeker. Um, if you're always active on LinkedIn and you make a habit of engaging with others, sharing articles of interest, liking the posts of others, when you when the time comes for you to really job search and you're probably going to ramp up your activity, you're not going to set off any alarm bells. Um, they're already used to seeing you doing stuff on there. So it's really not going to make uh, any difference. Uh, so by making LinkedIn engagement habit, you are much more likely and it's going to be easier for you to keep your job search under the radar. So I hope that I have made the case for why LinkedIn is not just for job seekers. By building and maintaining a strong network, remaining engaged and active on this platform, keeping your profile up to date, um, do all those things and you're going to be strongly positioned should the time come for you to job hunt. And who knows, you might attract the attention of a recruiter for a role that you never even considered. You've been listening to Resume Storyteller with Virginia Franco. To learn more about storytelling strategies to catch the eye of today's skim online readers, hiring and decision makers, go to www.virginiafrancoresumes.com.